Hey, it's Dave and Lily, and we're going to do a review of a trail camera today. It's the TC09B from Campart, so stay tuned. Well, welcome to Dave's Hunting, Shooting, and Bushcraft. And today I've got a start of a review of um, a trail camera from Campark. It's the TC09B. Uh, and so uh, for my property, it's unusual or new in that it has a built-in solar panel. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this out in the field and, and doing a review of it. And seeing how the pictures are, how well the battery lasts, so forth. But we'll put it to the test here in a minute. Let's see what all came in the box. Of course, you get a camera, trail camera, and it has the integrated solar panel on top. Um, you get some mounting hardware in case you want to mount it to, um, you know, do a physical mounting. It's got the quarter 20 hookup. It's got a strap to hook it up to a tree, and then a USB cord that hooks into it. I also thought it was neat that they had um, on the top of the box, as soon as you open it, get some uh, quick reference and um, OCR codes that you could hook onto. So I did it, and so this one, um, the one that takes you to Facebook, actually takes you to Facebook and then you go to a link looking for your camera review and you go there and it will have um, uh, how you start up your camera. Um, on the YouTube link, uh, it takes you to a YouTube channel that um, has a camera similar to that TC 300, but it's not the TC 9B. So, uh, but there is another separate list that has the TC 09B on YouTube, if that makes any sense at all. If you search on YouTube, the TC 09B, you'll find it. I thought that was pretty cool. It has a quick before you start, pay attention to this. Um, you're supposed to take all your protective coverings off your lenses, and I haven't done that. Uh, I need to do that. Those are the ins and outs of the unboxing, and we'll talk about the economics of this camera as well um, later on as we go through the uh, review of the actual uh, results because I think that's important to understand too. You want the most out of your camera you can get you have to charge your um, lithium battery initially. It recommends it so um, and it can take up to eight hours. All right so I look forward to seeing the results of this. I'm pretty excited because um, I like the concept of having my uh, solar panel right on the camera and it's kind of, you know, it's, it's easy, um, easy access. The camera opens, here's the back panel and uh, yeah, so I like that. All right, let me show you the close up, close up of the camera. Hold on there. All right, so camera close up. So here's, here's what this camera is going to look like on your tree or wherever you place it. You can see it's got an integrated solar panel on top. Uh, motion sensor, motion sensor, your night vision, and then your lens. Turn it around. It's got quarter 20 mount. It's just got a little leveling block. It's got a place where your tree strap goes in a place where a security cable can go. On the bottom, if you open this up, you can see it's got a it's got a place there there for your SD card and there for your um, outlet to your SD card and an outlet to your S, um, USB. It's also that's where you plug in your USB cord to charge it to an outlet. Uh, on the back on the panel itself um, so here's where you put your batteries and it'll, it takes four of them it does ha it has the internal lithium so that's what the um, uh, solar panels charging these four serve as a backup it has a uh, screen to help you through setup and then it's pretty typical um, 
you have an OK button at the bottom and that, you know, you got your up, down, left, right. So you hit your OK, it brings up the menu. And then you up, down, or left and right, depending upon what it's cueing you to do. And then you just set it up. I'm not going to go through all that because the um, it's got a YouTube video that the company put out that shows you how to do that. So there's no need me showing you. Um, and you got a QR code that will take you to it if you go through the Facebook page. All right, and then uh, yeah, so uh, pretty pretty basic. So here's size comparison is my hand, and that's the trail camera about the size of a person's hand. Not very big. All right, so yeah, that's it. Let's uh, let me finish getting a charge, and we'll get it out in the field. Hey, it's Dave. So you should have just watched some videos and uh, seen some photographs that this camera, the TC9 from Camp Park has taken. And uh, I want to take a little bit of time now to talk about the things I really like about this camera and then if I had any concerns. And so uh, first, let me say I was really impressed. Um, I got good quality photos, good quality video, um, I thought. And the night's video and uh, photos seem to look fine too. Um, some really nice captures. The uh, the thing that I liked even better than the quality of the photos and videos, which was really good, is the fact that this does, does not need a lot of sunlight. So the first two weeks I had it out on the food plot in the Pinelands and uh, it probably gets maybe 50 to 60 percent chance of getting sun during the day. Um, as this, you know, as the day progresses, um, the longer the day, the more sun. As winter comes, there'll be less. So the first two weeks out there, it showed 100% battery both times I checked it. And then I thought, well, let me move it to a place a little bit more challenging. So I moved it to one of the trails. And you know how a deer trail is. I mean, your sunlight's spotty because it's always through leaves and cover. There is no open, direct sunlight spot on the camera. Um, except maybe very early morning, um, and maybe that's probably about it. I found that this camera um, still had 100% battery. I was really impressed. You do have to put four batteries in it, and they act as a reserve, but it is able to charge and manage, and I'm guessing maybe 30% of sunlight on a, on a you know non-cloudy days. So... Um, yeah, it did pretty well. Now, during that week, we didn't have any rain, but we did have cloudy days. So, uh, very impressed with that. The other thing I, I liked, and I'll touch upon, is um, so they, they have QR codes to help you with your install, and they lead you to um, various links, but I would go to the one to YouTube. Look at their YouTube channel, find the TC9 camera, and they got a nice little video that talks about how to set it up very convenient. It, I mean, it takes a couple minutes of your time, and then when you're done, you fully understand the camera. If you just want to read, I did think the manual does a nice job as well. Um, all in all, this is a great camera. It's at a great price, um, and it'll save you money because you won't chew up batteries. So. so let's talk about batteries and what it costs to operate them. So I put together a little analysis, and you can see what the cost per battery is when I took a sample of the uh, cost out in the out in the market and 64 cents per battery. And when you use that and put it towards what say the TC9 from Camp Park is for six months, you use four batteries in the cost of the unit. So you get a total cost of 82.55. Um, when you compare that to the cost of an average trail camera without solar, and I've come up with 47.99 for that, Battery costs of a set of eight batteries every four weeks for six months, 
that was $30.72. So total cost is $78.71. So we haven't quite reached our savings mark at the end of six months. But if you look at the end of 12 months, we got a savings of $26.88. And if you keep the bet, um, the TC9 operating for two years, get a savings at $88.32. So does it save money? Absolutely. It's saving money. All right. Take you out. So am I a fan of it? Yeah, I like it. The TC9, it's a good one. All right. Did I see any downsides? Usually I pick on the strap, but I even like the strap because it had a, a clasp that locks. Now, it's not the most sturdy, but, you know, not of a mar. It, it'll do its job. The thing that I would, if I was, if I was in charge, I would put a full-size SD card in here. Right now it has a micro SD, um, it's limited to 32 gigabytes. That's another limitation. Some of the other cameras with the small ones go to 126 or something like that. But anyway, um, using the micro ones, when uh, I'm an older man and I have arthritis in my fingers. So it's a bit of a challenge. Not that I couldn't do it and I did it easily, but um, definitely a bit of a challenge. Uh, still not a deterrent for me. I would. I would and am going to uh, invest in more of these cameras. This one's going back out on the trail where I had it. It did a nice job, so I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, that's the TC9 from Campark. Uh, great trail camera. Um, I give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching this video. And like I always say, try to make kindness your business. Do something kind for somebody. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It takes effort on your part, but sometimes not a whole lot. And then be amazed how much it will help somebody out. I do simple things like offer to help somebody lift something or put their groceries in a car or all kinds of little things that you can do. Just look for the opportunities to be kind and share some kindness. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for tuning in and Dave out. Well, Dave and Lil if she was here, out.